Hey, welcome back to East Edge. Sup here. Now that we've created a customer, we've created an event, we've created an, a proposal estimate. Um, I want to go over real quick some calendar views. Again, here we are at the dashboard. As I showed you in a previous video, you can go to the calendar view inside a customer file. The quickest way to get to the calendar though, and the way that your installers, your templaters, um, your people out in the field are going to utilize the calendars. They're going to just hit this icon here up at the top of the home page, and that's going to take them to the calendar. Looks similar to Google Calendar and works in a similar way. The biggest difference is, is everyone's going to want to sort their calendar by the events that are relevant to them. So up here over on the right hand side, a little three dash hamburger menu. You select what you want to see. Do you want to see installs, sales, template? In this case, I've selected template. And since this is the demo software, we only have one event scheduled currently, but I went to next week and I can see it. So you see here, if I take off template and I put on installs, I have no install scheduled and the template doesn't show up either. But if I click on that template, it's going to show the template. Um, the default view is for it, the calendar to show all the events. So none of these boxes will be checked. And I'll give you a view of what our calendar looks like in the software that we use every day. Um, let's go to today and I'll just uncheck those. And so I can see all the events. As you can see it's a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff there. But again, I'm going to sort by... Uh, the relevant data that I want to see. So if I just want to see installs, I click on all my teams, I can see the installs that are happening today. You can sort by, or you can view by week, by month, and you also have a scheduler view if you want to get kind of a granular breakout of the time. And from in here, similar to, again, Google Calendar, from anywhere in the calendar, you can adjust the time. So let me go back a few weeks so I don't get anybody mad and mess up their schedule, but I'll show you. I can grab an event and I can move it to another day or I can adjust the time it's at or the block of time that it's scheduled for. Um, this is something that you typically only give your scheduler permission to do when you set up the user. You don't want obviously templaters and installers going in there and adjusting their schedule. Um, but right now, obviously, since I have full permissions inside my user, I can adjust anything and show you how it works. Each event can be clicked on to show the information for the job. And then from that little pop out, anyone can click on the customer name and it'll take them right to the customer file. So that's a quick view of the calendar and how it works. We'll see you on the next video.